In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve second order differential equations missing the x term. To start, consider this differential equation y, y double prime plus y prime squared equal to 0. As you can see in this differential equation, we don't have any x. x doesn't appear in this differential equation. Usually, the independent variable in a differential equation is x. But in this differential equation, the x, which is the independent variable, is not appear. For solving this type of differential equations, in general, we use this substitution. We suppose z to be y prime. As you can see, this substitution is similar to the substitution that we used when we had differential equations without y. But the next step is a bit different with that case. So we use this substitution for solving these type of differential equations in general. Because we suppose y prime to be z, we want to find y double prime also based on z. So if we take the derivative of y with respect to x, y double prime equals derivative of z with respect to x or z prime. But note that here, because in the differential equation, x is not appeared, we want to get rid of x. So we don't like to replace y prime here with dz over dx. Then again, we have x in the differential equation. How we can get rid of this dz over dx? Because somehow we have to replace y double prime based on z. But this is not helpful. What we can do here is to use the chain rule. y double prime is dz over dx. But we can write this as dz over dy times y dy over dx. Based on chain rule, if you remember chain rule from calculus, dz over dx, we can write it as dz over dy times dy over dx. Here, we suppose y to be the independent variable. Now, note that dy over dx is actually y prime. So we can replace this with z. So in this way, we can get rid of this x. So we replace dy over dx with which is y prime with z. If we put z here instead of dy over dx, then y double prime equals dz over dy times z, which we can write it as z times dz over dy. Now, as you can see here, y double prime is based on z and there is no x in this relation. So, when in a differential equation we don't have any term with x, we use this substitution. We suppose y prime to be z. And from this substitution, y double prime is z dz over dy. So, we have y times y double prime. We replace y double prime with this y is z dz over dy plus y prime y is y prime is z so plus z squared equal z for solving this differential equation if you notice in this term and in this term we have z so we can factor z from these two terms if we factor z, then we have y dz over dy plus z equal 0. Because this expression times by this expression is 0, we have to set them equal to 0 separately. First, let's set z equal 0. If z equals 0, it means that y prime is 0. 
because there is y prime. And when y prime derivative of y, derivative of the function that we are looking for in this differential equation is zero, we can say that y is a constant function. Let's name it c y. So this is one solution for this differential equation, the constant function c y. But we can set the other bracket equal to zero. If we set the other bracket equal to zero, then we have y dz over dy plus z equal to zero. Now here, if we move z to the other side, we can convert this to a separable differential equation easily. Note that we can write this as y dz over dy equals negative z. If we bring z to the denominator of dz and we bring dy and y to the other side, we can write this differential equation in this form. dz over z, we keep negative here in the right side, equals negative dy over y. This is the same differential equation, but we separated z from y. Now that z and y are separated here in this differential equation, we can integrate from both sides of this equation. Integral of dz over z is ln of z, and integral of negative dy over y is negative ln of y. And don't forget to add a constant to the left side or the right side. I prefer to put the constant in the right side. Note that here we used a constant C1, so I named the other constant C2. Let's play with this result and make it a bit more simplified. If we bring negative ln of y to the left side, as we have another ln here, we can this way simplify it. If we bring ln of y to the left side, then we have ln of z plus ln of y is c2. We know that ln of a plus ln of b is always equal ln of a, one of the properties of logarithmic functions. If we use this property, then ln of zy equals c. Also remember that if ln of some expression equals something else, then to find this unknown here, then this unknown here equals to e to the other side. We use the exponential function to solve this equation. So probably you know this. Base done that relation that relation here we can say zy equals e to the c2 but here e is a constant the power of e is also a constant c2 is a constant so we can name all of this constant a new constant let's name it c2 so from this we have zy equals c3 so we need to suppose all of this with c3 we can replace this z here with y prime so remember z is y prime z is derivative of y with respect to x so if we replace z here if we substitute back z in terms of y we get to this relation dy 
where dx not z is y prime and y prime is derivative of y with respect to x times y y is c3 for solving this new differential equation we can bring dx to the other side and write it as y dy equals c3 dx and this is again a simple separable differential equation if we integrate from both sides of this relation let me continue from here integral of y dy is one half y square and integral of the right side is c3x plus let's name it c4 and this is another solution for this differential equation but note that here if we suppose this constant c3 to be zero this answer includes the other answer so we can say only this is the general solution of this second order differential equation i hope by watching this video you have learned how to solve second order differential equations missing the x term if you like this video please subscribe in my channel and thank you for watching